hello. Uh, I would like to demonstrate here how to input grades. Okay, first of all, you have to log in. Okay, you input www.icloudph.com CS test. Then, as an instructor, you click this button. Input the code of the instructor. For, of course, if I am the instructor, I should know my code. In this case, I am logging in as uh, Ronald and password. Click OK. There. The picture here can be easily replaced. Just click it, browse, then uh, look for a picture. For example, here. First one. I can put uh, the picture of uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah. Then, of course, when I uh, want to input grades now, just click uh, transactions, then grades. The display here shows the available period and, of course, the date range where I am allowed to input only from March 1 to April 30. This data was configured by an administrator. Okay. So I just have to select the class. Oh, sorry, select the class. Yeah. Well, I want to import grade, the grades of this class. Yeah. I can see already here in this column the current grade. Each student. Suppose I want to input. I only have to double click. Huh? Just double click. Or press enter. So if I try to double click there, then you can simply just type, then press enter. Type, press enter. For example, I, this grade here is 2.0. Then press enter. At the bottom, you see the remark that the grade has been successfully posted, which means the grade has been saved already in the database in the cloud server or wherever the server is. I can continue inputting the grade simply by typing the grade then pressing enter right after. Post it. 3.0 This is the uh, incomplete NFE What else? This is uh, 1.5 Suppose I input a grade that is invalid XYZ At the bottom you see that the system displays a remark or a message that the input grade is invalid. So the system was uh, unable to post the grade. So the system checks whether the grade that you are inputting is valid or not. Suppose I input a grade that's greater than 5. For example, I input 7. Again, the system displays that the grade is invalid because the system knows the grading system which is supposed to allow only grades from 1 to 5. That's it. It's very easy. So if I uh, look at, let's say for example, look for another class there, then go back to 
the previously inputted grades there you can see that they are already reflected suppose uh, I select another this one so here I have too many students I have 39 okay I want to use also the enter key so just click where you want to start then press enter then input right away one two three point zero four point zero five point zero then nfe nmg okay let's go back to it uh, this data here are already saved in the database uh, incomplete one two three four five nfe nmg let's see what happens okay so the incomplete there one two three etc nfe and ng you now have here the remarks conditional incomplete so this is conditional this is no final grade etc so they are now reflected in the database even if you close this and then go back to it you see that those are already reflected in the database that's it for now it's so easy to input grades in this system you only have to select the class then input right away that's for the cs online 3.x thank you